Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So today for Masking Monday, we are going to be taking a look at a silt mask. I don't know if you've ever heard of silt masks or not, but the one that we're looking at today is by Volition Beauty, and it is their detoxifying silt jelly mask. All right, so the way I um, was introduced to this mask was Bought some stuff from Sephora, added a deluxe sample, because you spend over 25 bucks, you get to do that. And then I tried it and I really liked it. 20% off Sephora sale came, decided to buy the full size. Just because, why pay full price? So, I don't have the benefits of silt off the top of my head, so I am going to read them straight from the article that I wrote about it, okay? So just so you know, 60 mils of this product re retails for $79 which is pricey, so you wanna know kind of what you're getting yourself into. So the main ingredients, or active and key ingredients in this product are black silt, squalene, jojoba, and quinoa protein. The black silt extracts impurities while soothing skin promotes cell oxygenation and firmness. Squalene, which is plant-derived in this case, not animal-derived, um, diminishes the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles while locking in moisture, reducing redness and surface irritation. Uh, jojoba oil improves moisture, skin texture, and oil control. At a molecular level, this oil is one of the most similar to our own skin's oil, and so it absorbs really easily. It also possesses some antimicrobial properties. Last but not least, quinoa protein, um, high concentration of B3, so niacinamide, in quinoa protein, assists in calming and addressing damaged skin, and it also helps strengthen the skin's barrier. Fun facts. Um, yeah, so those are kind of like the key things, the key ingredients in this mask. And now let's just get straight to seeing how this mask works and the texture and smell, etc, etc, etc. Beautiful as ever, I know. Gosh, I look so good in the morning, especially with this awesome hairstyle. And these lights just make me look pale as ever. Like I already knew that I was pale, but then this just whew, adds to it. So this mask actually kind of smells like caraway seeds to me, if you know what caraway seeds smell like. I don't know, I guess caraway seed is like the strongest smell to me in here, um, but we're just going to use this little brush, and I just want to show you the texture of this mask, just because it is a little bit weirder um, compared to other masks. So it's almost like a whipped jelly. And now we're just going to apply it to our face. Okay, so there we have it. So that is the mask um, fully applied. And I did get a little bit closer to my eye area just because this mask is really gentle, um, at least for me, like I really don't find it irritating whatsoever. So that's why I'm not like nervous to get too close to my eye area. Now we're gonna leave this on for five to 10 minutes, come back um, after it's dried and then wash it off. So this box did come with two little sponges in the actual packaging. However, I've used them now because I, this is the second time I'm filming this because I just wasn't happy with the first cut. Um, so yeah, I don't have them right now to show you. Let's go get some stuff done in the five, 10 minutes that we have and um, then we'll be back. Okay, so it's now been about five, 10 minutes and you can obviously see um, a change in color in the mask. Uh, the other thing is this mask doesn't like really dry dry like that tight dry, um, but it's more of like a surface dry. So just the product itself dries. Um, but it's not like a flaky kind of dry. I'm just gonna give you a zoom here on my face. Like, so some parts are still, like, it's kind of a little damp there still. Um, but yeah, like, here it's a little dry. Could probably just rub it off. Here. Okay, so now what we're going to do, ooh, so we're now gonna go wash the mask off and be left with a nice soft complexion. All right, so I've just washed my face and it doesn't feel tight at all. There's no dryness. In fact, as I was kind of washing my face off, I could feel the jojoba oil like settle beneath the mask almost um, and moisturize my skin. 
So right now, if I really wanted to, I could use a moisturizer, but I don't feel like I need it. Because um, it kind of just feels like I have moisturized. Isn't it funny how, like, right after we do mask, we always, I don't know if we always, I always, like, after I wash my face, I always, like, look at it closer and then see things and then I start picking. Ugh, such a dangerous habit. But, um, yeah, so that is today's mask. Uh, really plain and simple. Feels fantastic. Really, really great, I think, personally, for sensitive skin. Just because I have sort of, like, reactive skin. And the only place I even show, like, a little bit of discoloration is just right here on my forehead. I think if you have a more sensitive skin, you'll be okay with this one. So if you've tried it, let me know. If you haven't, maybe give it a shot, give it a go. See so if you can get a little sample from Sephora or any uh, beauty store that you like to shop at that carries this product. Love to hear from you. So if you like this video, guys, like it down below. If you like this channel, subscribe. I will see you guys later. Thank you so much for watching. Okay, bye.